And continuing with our post-race media availabilities, we've now been joined by Ryan Blaney, driver of the number 21 Motorcraft Quick Lane Tire and Auto Center Ford. And Ryan, you earned a sixth place finish in the second duel to um, officially um, compete in your first Daytona 500 on Sunday. So just talk a little bit about those emotions and, and what you anticipate Sunday to be like. Yeah, it was a, a really smooth race for us. Um, everything went away. We went uh, really smooth on pit road uh, the one time that we came down. And uh, that's really all we can ask for and, and uh, try to control the things that we can control. Uh, you know, no mistakes on pit road and uh, everything else is kind of up in the air. You know, you never know if you're going to get caught up in a wreck. Uh, we're luckily, we were ahead of those incidents tonight and, and didn't get caught up in a wreck like some other guys did. And uh, just fortunate to be in the spot we were at. But uh, I thought our car had really good speed. Um, you know, tonight was all about transferring and um, there was a couple opportunities I really, really wanted to to drive hard and, and go for a win. And um, we had opportunities to do that. But um, like I said, the main point was was the transfer tonight. And, and that's what we did. And uh, everyone did a great job. And it's just cool to, to be with the Wood Brothers and, and say we're racing Sunday. Um, I try not to get too worked up before races. And, and I tried to play it cool before I sat in the car. And, and then you get nervous during pace laps. And um, it's just nice to kind of have all that go away. OK, we'll take questions for Ryan. Please raise your hand and state your name and affiliation. Anyone have a question for Ryan? Okay, Chris, go ahead. Chris Nightcatchrunts.com. Ryan, you tweeted that now that you're in the show, you can show your true muscle. How much were you holding back? I can't tell you that. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I think, uh, like I said, we had a great car. We have, we have really good speed in our car. Um, I believe all three Penske cars do. Um, you saw that with Brad and Joey, I think, in the first duel and in the, um, you know, in the, in the Unlimited the other night. So, um, like I said, there was a couple opportunities that I thought we could have um, went for it, and we had to pull the reins back and made sure that we got in. Um, and um, you definitely put that in the memory bank uh, for Sunday and knowing that uh, what you can do and, and what you can't do. And um, I definitely think we have more in the tank. All right, go ahead, Lewis. Louis Frank Reuters. Earlier tonight, Ty Dillon said he felt stress getting into this race, and you may have heard Danica. This, you have a limited schedule. Did you feel any stress coming into tonight? And um, a little bit. You know, you, you try to play it off as much as you can before the race, and people ask you if you're nervous and everything, and you just got to, you know, say that you're ready to go. And uh, it does make it worse a little bit. Um, you just don't want to think about it. And um, like I said, when you strap in the race car, it kind of finally sets in that you're about to go try to qualify to make the Daytona 500. And, and you get a little bit nervous, but, you know, usually once the green flag drops, all that goes away. And um, like I said, we were in good spots all night to where uh, we, we were ahead of everything that happened, fortunately. And um, But, yeah, you, it's hard to not feel nervous when you know you're not locked in and you don't know what can happen on these super speedways. You know, it's it's a shame to see – you know, some guys not make it, you know, Jeb and, and uh, some other guys. It's, it's a shame to see that. But, um, you know, fortunately, we were just on the, on the right end of it. And um, it's cool to be here. Go ahead, Megan. Ryan, um, Michael Vega, Boston Globe. Um, you seem remarkably composed for a, for a kid who just made the Daytona 500. Deep down, are your emotions kind of running like a duck underwater? You know? <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, can you just talk about who was the first person to greet you when you got out of the car, and was it your dad, and did, what did he say to you? Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, certain people got a way of showing their emotions, and, and, yeah, we're really excited to be in the race. You know, everyone at the Wood Brothers team, even Penske, they're really excited to get in, and, um, you know, I am too. It's, uh, you know, it, I'm sure we'll, you know, kind of sit down when we when all of it gets over and just know we're in the race and um, I'll be able to reflect on that. But, yeah, my, my dad was, he was kind of standing in the background, and um, he was probably about the 10th person to come up to the window. It's funny, because when I do bad, he's the first person in the window, and when I do good, he's about the 10th or 15th. That's funny how it works, but uh, no, it's it's cool to have him here. My uh, my grandma and, and uncle was here, too. It's, it's cool to have the family here um, to, tonight to do it, so hopefully uh, they're all going to be here Sunday, so it's going to be great to uh, have the whole family here, and uh, my family in the woods, and, and they're all down. It's just great to have everyone down. Right, just follow up. Will you lean on your dad at all for any kind of advice on how to handle Sunday? Yeah, yeah. You, um, we definitely talk a lot about 
uh, especially super speedway ra racing because you can relate a lot more <clears throat> uh, between the two of us uh, at, at these super speedways and uh, you know how the draft works and and you know side drafting because these cars are a lot different than trucker xfinity cars as far as the draft goes you have to drive them differently and and different lanes do different things and and i learned a lot tonight being up you know in the top six or seven all night you learn a lot you know watching jimmy and kyle and and carl you know uh, i learned a, a lot tonight about it and uh, my dad has definitely been there every step of the way and, and been really helpful for me any final questions for ryan any questions in the press box no questions all right ryan congratulations we look forward to seeing you race on sunday all right thanks